Hello everyone, welcome back to Python Tutorials by Code Warriors. So some some of you guys have approached to me and told me that you are facing problems in some of the topics. Like uh, I I know one of the guy approached me and told me that he has a problem in the string section. He couldn't understand it. So today this I've made this video just on the strings to explain it, explain it more clearly. Maybe you might be facing the problem because of the font size. Earlier it was a little bit uh, low font size, so you might be facing a problem because of that. So I, I'm making this video on strings separately. I'm, I will try to explain it much more clearly this time. Okay. And yes, if anyone has any kind of a problem, couldn't understand anything, just put it in the comment section. Or if you are joined with us in the our WhatsApp group, you can tell us there. We will. If those things are like need to be explained, we will immediately ex make a video on it and help you with it. So let's move on to Spider and let's see your strings again. Okay, so here we are. No strings. Strings are anything: characters, words, or sentence written inside double quotes or single quotes. So if you say str underscore one, our string one, and if we put here code warriors now this is a string this whole line is a string and if we run it it, it runs as a string and here you can see here the type of the string is str it's a string now the this is a you can write sentence you can write just a character over here like if you say str so 2 equals to let's say c now this is also a string Everything that it is comprised inside of a double quote is a string. Now, if we write here like 100, now 100 is normally an integer, but if we run this program, you know, this is also a string because it is inside of a single quote or a double quote. Now, if this time this str2 variable will not act as an integer, but if we try to do it like oh, let's say num is equals to 100, okay, that's 20 plus str. Two. Now, if we run it, it will give us an error because normally what happens if we write here uh, 20 plus 100, it becomes 120. But right now, this 100 is a string because it is comprised inside of single quotes or double quotes. So, this becomes a string and you can't add an integer to a string. That's why it is given this error. And you can see here what error says unsupported operand types for plus integer and string now we are adding two operands of different types integer and string that's why it is giving this error so now let's talk about uh, concatenation and most of you couldn't understand what is concatenation now concatenation means adding of two strings like here we have one string code warriors and another string is 100 now if we want to add these both the strings how are we going to do it Let's make another string, another variable, str3 equals 2. Now if we want to add these two strings, all we have to do is write str underscore 1 plus str underscore 2. And run it, f9. Now you see the string 3 is, here you can see the variable section, it is 4 warriors 100. Now let's print it also. Print str underscore 3 and if we run it now you see code warriors hindered the output screen also now this is called concatenation of string now here we have added two variables we can also add a string with a variable like uh, that's str4 equals to now let's say python okay Python by and put a plus sign over here str underscore one. Now if we run it f9. Now you see the str four string over here in variable section. It becomes Python by code warriors. Let's print it out to print str four. Now let's run it and the output screen you can see python by code warriors here now this is uh, concatenation you can, 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 can 
concatenate two variables of string type or you can concatenate a string with a variable. You can also do the same thing inside of a print section. Inside of a print, you can just write Python. Okay, put it in double inverted commas. Python by and then use a plus sign str underscore one. Now if we print it, you can see again it says Python by four warriors. Now this is concatenation in all total adding two strings. Now next thing comes indexing. Now indexing is nothing. Uh, let's say we have defined here a string one as code warriors over here. Now each of these uh, characters, letters inside of it has its own index place. Has its own like, uh, you can say its own address. Means like uh, this uh, and it starts with zero to till go on. Like here C has index 0, then O index 1, D index 2, E index 4, uh, 3, then space there is, sorry, space there is, it has index 4, then W index 5, same way it goes on up to the last. So if we want to say str of, let's print it, print str underscore 1, and to give an index, we use it uh, this big braces. And we give right if we write index zero. Now let's see what happens. F9. And you see in the output screen it says C. Now because at the index position, there C lies at the index position. Now if you want any other, let's say a uh, seven. Now if we print it out, F9. Now R. Now we have studied our for loop in our previous videos. Now let's apply for loop and let's see all the indexes of the string. Now let's say for i in range and let's give it and do len str underscore one. Now okay we are using len over here. Now let me tell you what len does. Now len tells you the length of the complete string. Let's say st if we type len str1 and let's print it. Okay, so what it does it gives you the length of a string. Now as you can see here it gives the output 13. Now they are it means that there are 13 characters inside of the string. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 characters inside this code warrior string. Now this is length. So here we give for i in range length of a string that is 13 and then let's print it print str1 and let's give it an index i plus give some space comma i. Okay. Now let's run it and here you can see the index position with the with its own character with its character. Now let you can see here C is at 0, O is at 1, D is at index 2, E is at index 3, space is at index 4, and W is at index 5, and so on till the last. Now this is the indexes of these characters. Now indexing doesn't work just uh, this way it also works in one in backward direction like if we say str okay wait a minute let me take it upstairs okay now if we say str underscore one and write minus one now what this will print is print okay now it will print a last value of the string. Now last value in the code warriors was s and here it printed out s. Now, minus, if we go to minus 2 it will print the second last value. If we go to minus 3 it will print the third last value and so on. So if we start from the backward direction 
making start from minus 1. And if we start from the front direction, from the left hand side, then it from this starts from 0. Now they can be in minus 0 sign of something. That's why it starts from minus 1. Okay? Don't get confused in this thing. It works both ways. But if we start from the left hand side, it starts from 0. If we start from right hand side, it starts from minus 1. Simple. Now, this is called indexing. Now we will go to slicing. Now slicing has three concepts. Let's say str underscore one and it has three keywords inside of it. Start, stop and step. Now what start means is the starting point from where you want to slice something. Slice means cutting. So now st start means from where you want to cut a string. Then stop means up to which point you want to cut that string. And step means how much gap you want to take in between. How much steps you want to take in between. Now, let me show you with an example. Let's say str1. And let's give it a starting point, let's say 2. Stopping point, let's, the length of the string was 13. So let's give it a starting, uh, stopping point 12. And then give it a step of 2. Okay. Now, if we print it, and run it, now it gives me the result D-A-R-O. Now what happens, it starts from the, uh, from index 2. Now at index 2, if you see in our output screen, at index 2, D is here. D is at index 2. Then it goes up to the 12th index. Now what is the 12th index? 12th index is S. And in between, it is jumping from like leaving one index and going jumping each index. So what happens? It printed D, then it will jump over E and go to the space. So it did not print E and printed space. Then it jumped over W and goes to A. So it did not print W and go directly to A. Then again it jumped over R and printed second R. See. And then it jumped over I and printed O. So this is stepping. Stepping means you keep on jumping. If you have put a step size of 2, that means it will leave 1 and move on to another. If you put a step size 2, it will leave 2 in uh, put a step size 3, sorry. Then it will leave 2 spaces in between and move again. I had it. It will jump over 2 characters. This is called stepping. And one more thing we have to understand about stopping is if you have given an index of 12 as a stopping point, then it will stop 1 earlier to 12. Like right now we have given it 12, it will stop at 11, this R. It will stop at R. It will not go up to the 12th point like S. It will try to stop itself at R only. But as it was jumping at one space, so it couldn't even reach up to the R. It has to stop at O only. Because it printed O, then it has to jump one space and goes to move ahead. But after jumping, the index was over. It reached up to the stopping point and couldn't print it. So this is called slicing. Let's give it one more example. Let's say str1 equals to, uh, let's make a big string. I know 5. Okay. I think it's f9. Now str1 becomes I love python. Now, now can it be right str underscore 1? And this time, okay, we right now we have seen we have right hand step, stop, uh, start, stop, step. But you don't necessarily have to write every time all these things. If you don't, if you don't want to write, like if you don't want to step, if you don't want to do the stepping, you don't want to leave any character in between. Then you can leave that column, you can leave that column empty, you can just write 1 up to like 12. So you can write only this much and it will still work. If you don't want to give a stop a starting point, you can leave this place as an empty and you can write it like this. Now this means is this empty section means is it is starting from the very first index, from the means index 0. Now if you write something in this section, let's say 2. And you leave the stopping point. Now this means is it is going up to the very last index. Up to whatever the last index is, it is going up to that point. 
and uh, if you again write this and give it three over here, then it is starting from index two, going up to the last index, and with a step size of three. This is all about slicing. Now let's move on to some methods or functions inside of a string. Now as str1 is okay, let me take it stop the screen. Now str1 is I love Python. Now there are uh, methods or functions that can make it uppercase, lowercase, let's say str underscore one dot upper. And if we run it, f9, now you see str1 becomes I love Python capital. Okay, let's print it out. str1 is I print str1 upper I love Python. But remember one thing, it does not store the value inside of an str1. This is just str. If you want to store the value, you have to write like this str1 equals to str1 dot upper. Okay, now if you run it, f9, and now you see here in the variable section str1 becomes upper string. Now same way if you want to again convert it back to lower string, you know, or if you write str1 to str1 dot lower f9 and you see here str1 again becomes a lower string. Now there is one more method, uh, most used method that is split function. Now if you say str1 dot split and run it f9 and you see here in the output screen creates a list with the three objects inside of it, I love python, it separated or you can say divide the string, the basis of the spaces between them and made three objects out of it because there are three words inside of it. Now this is what split function does, now split, right now split has divided the string with the, uh, you can say spaces between them, but we can also use a split to divide it on the basis of certain letter like in this string if we want to divide this string on O so we can write inside of it and O so I just see O and we can run this F9 and now you see here now okay let me print it out okay you can see over here now it has divided the string on the basis of O at every O it has break the string and created a list put in some kind of a variable if we and now if you can see this z variable over here now how at uh, 0th index it has i space l then o comes after l in love l o it breaks at o and created a, another object one which has v e space p y t h after th o comes of python it again breaks at that point and created another object now we don't have to, um, we hardly or rarely ever get this that kind of breaking. Normally we get the breaking of uh, on the spaces just so that we can divide them into some words only. And this kind, this thing, this is splitting is will be really useful when you will be working on NLP, uh, natural language processing, and machine learning. It will be very much useful. The splitting because you have to split it, you have to split the whatever you are working on, you have to split those sentences into words and you have to pre-process them. So this is very important in that case. Okay, so this is all in the, there are lots of functions inside of a split, inside of a string, sorry. I'm not going to tell you all about them, you have to, if you write like this, str1 dot, then you can see here, there are lots of functions, join, split, replace, strip, lower, encoder, start with. I'm not going to tell you all about them. I've told you two, three functions. You now you need to work on them. I've told you how to check their documentation, how to check what every function does, what are their arguments. Because no one is going to tell you all. There are lots of functions out there. It's like Python is like an ocean. Okay, everything inside of it is an ocean in itself. Okay, you have to understand. You have to learn to read it to find it. How you can find those stuff, how you can find it fastly. Okay, I can tell you all the basics related with this. You have to work on it. 
Now, if still anyone has any problem in it, just put it in the comment section. What's your problem? And we will help you. We will sort you out ASAP. Okay, thank you very much. See you in the next video.